welcome to the first video in a series of videos on how to configure Kerberos Authentication for Access Manager. This particular video will focus on configuring the Active Directory side of things. As you can see on my screen, I have the NAM 4.3 documentation open to configuring Kerberos Authentication. And before I go through and show you how to create the user account Active Directory and do set SPN and all that stuff, I want to touch on a couple things. First thing is prerequisites. If any of these conditions exist within your environment, please make sure you take care of them first so that you don't run into any kind of speed bumps later on that'll trip you up. Two most important ones are NTP and opening the firewall and port exceptions so that your KDC and your IDP can talk to each other. The next thing is if you're running Windows Server 2003, you're going to need to install the SPN and QT Pass utilities so that you can set service principal names and you can create key tabs. All right, so creating a user account with an Active Directory for your identity server. Uh, the one thing that I want to touch on the most is right here, where it wants you to create the user account and fill out the first name. It says to specify the host name of your identity server, and then the user logon name is to specify your base URL. Now, if your environment's like mine, which I think most are, your identity server's host name is going to be different than the identity server base URL. So that's what I'm going to go off of as I show you. Um, let's go over here real quick and create a user. So we're here in Active Directory. We're going to say new user. And here it is, first name or your username, my host name of my IDP server. And then the user logon name, and then proceed it with HTTP forward slash, and then this is the identity server base URL. So IDP jw4.com. Down here under the pre Windows 2000 stuff, you need to change this back to the identity server's hosting. From there, we'll just create a password real quick. You want to uncheck this box and check password never expires. Next. Make sure you didn't fat finger anything. That's good. All right. Finish. So there's our user account. No sweat, right? Next thing you want to do is set the service principal name. So we open our PowerShell and we use set SPN space dash capital A. And then we're going to use the user logon name again. So HTTP forward slash identity server base URL. And this time we need to append the Active Directory realm, which mine is gw12.gw.com. Then do a space and add your username. Now remember, with my particular setup and probably most of yours, it's going to be the host name of your identity server, which will be different than your base URL. Hit enter, and we're registered. Now, a side note is if you are using domain services for Windows, you need to set a host SPN entry as well. And that's pretty much the same. All we need to do, I'll just hit the up arrow. Instead of HTTP here, we just add in host. registers it that way. Now, to verify that everything went the way we want to, we just do a set SPN space dash capital L in our username. So we have our host entry and we have our HTTP entry. And that's it. The next section, uh, we're just going to talk about creating the key tab file. All right, so creating the key tab. Let's clear this out. Go back to the docs real quick. So configuring your key tab file, what, what I suggest is um, following this example in the docs. Um, it should be all you need. 
Um, there are some uh, circumstances where you might need to add uh, another switch, but it's pretty rare. So let's just go back over and let's create ourselves a key tab. Now the key tab is going, the output is going to be in whatever directory you're in, unless you specify it otherwise. So I always like to be in the desktop. So then we do a kt pass. And we're going to call this nidp key tab. Service principal name. Move my Google server. I'm going to add our code work file to that. And then I'm going to map the user. Alright, and then we're going to add the pass. Now, don't tell anybody this is my super secret password. Yeah, awesome, right? Okay, you see the key tab appeared on my desktop. Now, once this is created, we need to copy it into the security directory in Java on the IDP, which uh, since my IDP is Linux, I just use UNSCP, and I have it already there um, on my IDP server. So all I need to do is do a little drag and drop. I'm all set. Um, that's all you need to do, really. Uh, well, I guess one other option, if you don't have it configured already, is to go into your forward lookup zones for your DNS server for your domain and make sure you have an entry there for your identity server so you can resolve it. So kind of a no-brainer but it's easy to miss. I've done it before and it's not fun trying to track that one down. So that's it for configuring the Active Directory side of things. Um, if you want to keep following, the next uh, video is going to cover configuring the identity server. So hope this is helpful, and if you get stuck, that it was good for you. So uh, watch my next video. Thanks.